Hi everyone, Intuitive Edge here. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at Robert David Steele, ex-CIA. A little sketchy, but uh, he's been around for a while. But there's been rumors that he has passed away. And uh, some are saying, no, it's not true. You know, maybe he's just run away somewhere. He's in hiding. Others are saying, no, he's dead. So what's the truth? Do the cards have anything to say about it? So I shuffled up and I laid out a 10 card spread just to kind of get a feel for the situation regarding Mr. Steele and whether the reports of his death are true. Is he deceased? Now I got uh, some inconclusive answers on that. Um, I had the Nine of Swords, which is the card of worry, but it was crossed by the Strength card, a major arcana, very strong, positive card. Um, I also had a King up top. We had the Tower in the background, so something falling apart, which could lend to think, okay, maybe this could be true. But then the next five cards were really positive. Uh, I had the Chariot on the Future card which is things moving, uh, lots of stuff going on, hearing things. I had the Justice card. The Four of Swords was on the environment, which is kind of like, okay, that could potentially indicate that he's at rest. But then we had the Ace of Pentacles and then the Nine of Pentacles, which is a really positive card up top. And the bottom was the King of Cups, which is like, having an offer made. So I thought, okay, this is a little inconclusive to me. So I thought I'm going to reshuffle, ask a different um, set of questions and see if we can get any clearer. So I simply did, is RDS, I'm just going to call him that, RDS dead? Is he alive? And I have a yes or no, kind of make it pretty plain. And I thought I'll draw three cards on each column and see which cards kind of come to the forefront and see which what has the most intuitively speaking. And so on the yes column, I had the two of pentacles, kind of a, having to make some choices. I had the empress and the queen of wands. And it's like taking care of yourself and then some sort of care aspect. I thought, okay, on the, is he, is he, the, well, the question was, is he dead and yes or no on the no column, I had the Eight of Pentacles, which is a positive card, the Ten of Cups, which is super positive, and the Knight of Cups. So both were like, I didn't, I didn't get anything that indicated to me the death. They all, they, both columns seem to say kind of the same thing. I thought, well, this is, this is inconclusive as well, okay. So I thought, all right, and the bottom was the Four of Pentacles which was really interesting because that's a card of holding on to what's yours and being secure. So I thought, okay, this is, this might be pointing to something else entirely. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna do one more time. I went ahead and did five more questions, each a specific question, and then asked the cards. And this, I finally figured out what the cards are saying to me, okay? It it took me a minute because the first two were like, this isn't weighing, this isn't matching, this isn't making sense to me. So now I've got it, okay? I asked, is RDS dead? I got the Queen of Cups. I asked, how did he die? And I got the Five of Cups, okay? So here we've got some interesting stuff here. Is he dead, queen, five of cups. Now, the next three cards are, is he alive, is he in hiding, and what's the truth? Is he alive, I've got the star. This is a major arcana. Star is hope. Is he in hiding, which is kind of what I was starting to suspect, and I've got the empress, taking care of yourself. And last, what is the truth? And I got the third major arcana, the Hierophant, protecting the brotherhood, so to speak. Protecting those in the group. And then underneath, we have your wish being granted. So I'm like, that's gotta be it. He's not dead. I didn't get cards that really indicated that. 
I think he's in hiding. I mean, we'll see. You know, people people have been known to fake their deaths before. Um, that's just what I get from the cards. I mean, if somebody comes up with, you know, proof that he's deceased, well, um, I guess that's, we'll go with that. But from what I see in the cards, I think he's in hiding. So given the first spread that I did with the tower card in the background makes me wonder if something happened that necessitated him needing to um, go underground, perhaps. I don't know. He's never stricken me as the kind of person to run away from um, a threat or a situation. You know, he's ex-CIA, he's got connections. But uh, anyway, that's just what I get from this. That's what I get from the cards. So wanted to share that out there. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my next topic. Be right back. So next is the La Palma volcano. Now, this is a volcano somewhere out in the Atlantic. If that volcano blows, the theory is that it would send a cascading amount of dirt, rocks, and debris into the ocean, which would cause a tsunami, potentially hitting the east coast of the United States. So is this threat real? Is this volcano um, gonna do something? So I just pulled a 10 card spread just to get an overall view. And kind of interesting, I had the world card crossed by the page of pentacles. So to me, it feels like with the messenger on top of the world card that we could see some more news coming out about this in the coming weeks, perhaps. Whether it's just news coming out about it or whether there's actual more rumblings or activity. I don't think we've heard the last of this news story. We have a knight up top crowning it, which is another messenger. So, uh, and that messenger is facing forward, which I'll get into that more in a minute because there's some other cards that are facing a certain way. We have the hermit underneath, card of introspection. Now, into the past is the queen of cups. Now, going into the future, the future card is the wheel of fortune. Now, this is things that are set in motion, things that are going to happen, it's like fate. On the environment right next to it is the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is a messenger, and it's facing out, away from, like, out into the future. So, to me, there's there's three messenger cards that, are, that seem to be pushing into the possibility that we are going to hear more about this situation. Um, we have the Six of Rods um, kind of bringing this up, which is the card of kind of an announcement. And we had <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles on the outcome, which uh, is a very strong positive card. But to see the wheel especially and the three messengers kind of tying into the wheel and pushing through, I think we're going to hear more about this. And... Uh, Hopefully it's not going to be a big eruption. Uh, I'm going to look at some more cards on this and see if I can get any more tidbits as to what specifics we might see coming up with this. So I wrote out some questions. The first question is, will the La Palma volcano erupt soon? I have a messenger on that and it's a strong messenger of taking action. We have the Knight of Swords. Will the volcano produce a landslide? I've got a really strong positive card on that. And interesting in the artwork, I was drawn to that kind of rainbow slide looking thing coming in. And then the next card is, will it produce a tsunami? And I've got a kind of a sad card. I've got the three of swords. Card of sadness and loss. Now, I had another messenger card coming up on will this tsunami affect the east coast of the United States? And I've got the page of cups there, or excuse me, knight of cups. So having that knight of cups and the knight of swords, um, and they're right kind of underneath each other. They're both messengers. And this messenger, the knight, is looking right into the next card which is, what do we need to know about this? And I think that's what it's telling us, is possibly with the tsunami maybe affecting the United States, what do we need to know? And I've got the card of risk. 
And seeing this card is like there's a high potential for risk involved, okay? And then we have the Queen of Cups on the outcome for the volcano. And I was just kind of interested when I was looking at this card, kind of tuning into the artwork and seeing her crown. I don't know if you can see it, but it almost looks like a little silhouette of a city up top with the skyscraper buildings. That's kind of what I was seeing. And I was just feeling into her energy. And it was like like just seeing the 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 I guess civilization, buildings, protection kind of crowning her head. Um and seeing those cups, it, it feels like there's something about it that uh, is definitely concerning. I would say that there's a there's a high potential for risk involved, and so I would say heed any uh, any concerns or warnings and take them seriously. Um, that's kind of what I get. And there's also a messenger underneath all of this, the Page of Rods, which is the Knight of or the Page of Wands messenger again. So three messengers again coming out on this with a risk, high risk card on uh, what do we need to know. So I think it is risky. I think there is something that could be forthcoming with it. And uh, we'll have to pay attention to this story uh, as it unfolds. So that's all I have for this. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. And we'll catch you next time. Hope everybody's doing well. Bye for now.